Hey, good morning, folks. This is Mike Ross from Mike's Local Honey and Produce in Burlington, North Carolina. And we brought our hives back from the mountains um, this week. And I had one here that's really, really light. And so I'm going to go in and see if there's anything in here worth saving. But just to show you how light it is, see here, it's just, um, I don't like to be able to pick up a hive by myself. If it's a good, strong hive, I can't do it. But that's really light. So I'm gonna open it up and see what we find. There were bees in it when we unloaded it the other night. But I'm sure there's not many. Some bees over here on about four or five frames in the top box. They're telling me I need to put my veil on, so I'll go do that. No, I don't have my veil in my truck, so I'll try it without it. Lots of smoke so they don't get me. There's a little honey right here and they're eating it. Full frame of honey right here. I'll take off the top box and go down and see if there's any brood. It's heavy on one side. The bottom box you see is they're all on one side as well. These could go back into a, a double stack in a, in a nuke box um, with a, a deep on the bottom and a medium on top. But I think there's going to be more than five frames of deeps and, and more than five, probably about six frames of each kind. Although this, this frame could be set out for the, somebody to rob. It's a little honey right here. That leaves five.
Now we're getting to the center. We'll see what the bruise mm -hmm. looks like. Not on this frame. I don't see any eggs in this frame or any some empty cells. But she hadn't laid, laid any. Okay, there's some cap brood right there. A little bit here. I don't see any eggs or larvae. I do see cap brood. A little bit. It's 66 degrees, so um, I'm gonna wrap this up pretty quick now. Close them back up. Okay, I see lots of eggs in this frame. I don't know if, if you can see it or not, but there's lots of eggs. What I did, I, I hold the frame close to my face and blow the bees, gently blow them so they'll get off of the cells. But I see eggs down there. The hive's not very strong, but it is functional. I'll put it back together, and for now, for right now, I'm going to give them some sugar water, some two to one. Put it back like it was. I'm gonna use a baggie. I'm going to use a baggie on here, an empty super. I have a piece of insulation, rubber, one inch thick insulation I'll put on top. So I'm going to pour sugar water in this and lay it in here and punch holes in it. I'll show you what I'm gonna do instead of trying to do it. Um, flip. Well, I'll fill this with sugar water, lay it in here. There'll be an air bubble at the top and I'll take a knife and poke holes in that. And then I'll cover it up and the bees can come up here and 
and feed. So I've got one trying to get me again, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna walk away and close this down. And the hive is worth saving. It's not too late, I don't think. I'll feed them a little while and probably put them in a two-story nuke later on. So thanks for watching. Got some more to look at later today.